All right, we're going to continue where we left off with uh, our how-to videos, and this time we're going to focus on wheel item templates, just so that we can uh, close out or finish off the um, uh, some of the views in our uh, how-to theme. So let's get started. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do here is open the media folder and go to graphics and we have our graphics here for our uh, views. <clears throat> I have actually added or created recently and that's why it was taking me so long to get back into the video was <clears throat> Come up something with horizontal views that I could leverage for wheels in the same kind of tone or vein as as the theme that I currently have for this video or series of videos. So, um, so my apologies with the delay, but um, anyway, so I have this image, and I'm going to add it to our. graphics folder here so it's did I just create a <clears throat> I thought I created a link I don't want to do that okay cool I've just moved the file and so we're going to go into our horizontal wheel view for uh, games And as I've been using my wide screen or ultra wide, I've got stuff moved around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to where there's our wheel. I'm going to add an image. Make it full screen. I developed this image. Um, in 4k so it and with this aspect ratio scroll down and I'm gonna pick graphics as the media folder location the file name is wheel frame and there we go and I've placed it on top of the wheel And I can lock it. And take the gamepad out. And we can see how it looks. I want to change the wheel settings just a little bit. I'll scroll down. I want this selected item to be a lot bigger than 130%. Let's see if we can get away with 150. And what I'll do, I'll just quickly scroll through some of the items I have, make sure they all fit within frame before I commit. Yeah, I think 150 is about as close or as about as high as I can go based on this SSX tricky there. All right, so we'll leave it at 150. All right, so I think that's all I need to do on this one. No, I did say that I was going to do wheel item templates. So let's uh, let's have some fun with that one. So let me just save this. Okay. And let's see what else we've got in our horizontal mode. So we have platforms. And we can do the same with this one too. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
let's see, let me think about this. So I'm going to, what I should have done actually was copied the, the wheel image from the previous view. Uh, it doesn't matter. So we'll go down to wheel, do the same thing, image. Uh, let's see, wheel image, full screen. Graphics, wheel frames. Okay, so we've got some work to do here. And I'm also going to lock this image just so that I don't, because it takes, it's set to full screen. Anything that I click on, it won't register. So uh, let's see, I want the wheel, the selected item. Image is set to 120. I guess what I can do is to reduce the overall size of the wheel items themselves, just so that we can get a few more items in there, like so. And that's bring up the gamepad and scroll through again, just to make sure that the selected item still fits nicely within that middle area. And that's probably the, uh, the biggest that we have. Yep. Uh, could, just go a little bit smaller overall. Okay. So let me just save this. All right. So we're going to do some wheel item designs. I haven't really thought about what I want to do. Um, so let's see, box front maybe. Anyway, we go to the top of the screen to our modifiers and it's the um, next to views, we have wheel item templates. So let's focus on, um, uh, let me remove this one. Let's focus on the game wheel items first. So we got a blank canvas. So I'm just going to pick the first game wheel item here. Um, I'm just going to leave the canvas size at its default, 500 by 500, and we'll just see how this plays out. So for a game, We could do, so we can add an image. I'll make it full screen. I'll make it centered vertically and horizontally. I'm going to switch it to metadata. And we'll go with game box front. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else specifically I want to do here. And yeah, there may be, but I'm just going to keep it real simple at the moment. Let me save it. Okay. It's nothing fancy. I'm going to switch back to views. We're back to our horizontal game view. I'm going to edit. There's so many different possibilities here. So I'm going to click on the wheel. And currently we have it set to 
uh, images set to clear logos. I'm now going to select template and select our game wheel item one just to see how it's lining up and it's not. So I'm going to scroll up and change the item size. The overall item size so it will fit looks like we're pretty I think we're I think we're in there I think we're in the might make it just a tad smaller yeah now what I want to do is uh, reduce the the gap between the um, uh, wheel items here. So let's change the item spacing. Just to close the gap a little bit. Maybe 0.1. See what we end up with. Yeah, looks pretty good and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to increase the um, spacing for the selected item just to push this one and this one slightly outward okay so let's try it with point two it's okay whoops was okay it was actually this one selected item I want to increase it by 0.1 yeah I think that's okay I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a a space here all right so that in itself would be would be fine but um, that's really not showing you too much so I'm going to save that now that I know that the wheel item canvas of 500 by 500 works just fine for this wheel um, for this view I'm just going to save it there all right so now we'll hop back to wheel item templates and what I'm going to do I'm going to expand on this. This is just a, a simple image with metadata in it. And that's it. Okay. So I've just copied it. I'm going to paste it and we're going to build on it. So now what we want to do, we want to say, well, for the most part, it's um, uh, a, a 2D box front, but if it's selected, if the wheel item is selected, make it a 3D. All right. So I'm going to copy the image. And I might as well. Call it out. And I'll put the 3D above the 2D. And then we'll scroll down to properties again. And instead of game box front, it's going to be uh, the game box 3D. Okay, like so. Now, we certainly don't want both images showing. So we need conditioning. So what I want is on the 2D image, right click visibility conditions. I'm going to say you're collapsed and you're only visible when the wheel item selected is no. It means you're not the main focus, so you're going to be displayed. All right. Now, on the 3D box cover, again, right click on the element visibility conditioning. I want to collapse it, make it visible 
when the wheel item selected value is it is selected all right so now we can test this by using this uh, selected toggle down below not selected selected not selected selected all right so let me add some notes right just so I know what it's talking about and I can see the notes up here and as you can see if I click to our first template it's currently in use by our horizontal wheel games one and I didn't add notes and if I go to the new one that we've just created and expanded on we have our notes displayed and it's currently not in use by any view but if I right click on the view horizontal one games I can update the wheel from here right click again and then go to view so now you can see our view that's been modified to use our new wheel item template so if I now scroll through the wheel, as you can see, the selected item in the center is now featuring a 3D box cover, whereas everything else is 2D. Okay. Now, I'm going to expand upon that again. And I want to get the right color. <laughs> so what do we have here? Data is yellow. All right. So what we want to do, I want to make sure I've got the right color being captured here. So for example, the color used on this monochrome effect is this yellow. So I'm just going to simply copy and exit the view. And I'll just keep that there in memory. Go back to wheel item templates. Take the uh, second template that we just created and applied. I'm going to copy it again and paste it to a third one. And I'm going to change the notation on here. So selected item will um, will be will display a 3D box cover. Uh, otherwise. A 2D box cover will be shown in a monochrome color. All right, so how are we going to do that? So with, um, again, to get 2D, so it's non-selected, we're just going to simply go down to effect choose monochrome. I said I wanted to, oh, I've lost the color. Probably too much copy and pasting. Let me just save it here. Go back to the view. I'm trying to remember. What was the color?
not selected. Okay. So when it's not selected, it will have this monochrome. When it is selected, it's full color and in 3D. Okay. <clears throat> we want to, and again, this isn't referenced by any view because we've just created it. So I'm going to update this view with this wheel item template, and then we're going to go to the view. And there you go. It doesn't look too bad. All right, so now we want to focus on the platform side of things. Uh, let me see. Mm, I don't even know what... what I have for, let's have a look at media. I have devices. This might work. And again, I haven't really thought this through, so forgive me. Let's have a look at Arcade. Okay, it just says Arcade. Okay, no problem. Um, so again, we're going to go into Wheel Item Templates. And we're going to go to Platform. I'm just going to leave it the default 500 by 500. I'm going to add... Uh, an image like I did last time, make it full screen, make it centered. And again, like I said, I haven't thought this through, so just bear with me. Um, I'm going to say device. Mm. No. Let's go with platform and pull it from the devices folder. Um. And let's add an effect. Let's use monochrome. All right, I'm going to add another image. Let me just name this one correctly. This is uh, device. I guess this will be the player logo. Let's select metadata. Make it full screen. And we want this one as platform clear logo. And I don't have any conditioning on this yet. I just want to 
see what this looks like. So let me just go through the list. So there's no device, but it has a clear logo. It has a clear logo. You really can't see. Actually, this is a good example. So let's edit the template on this one. And what I want to do here is change the vertical alignment of the clear logo. And let's change the vertical alignment of the device. And let's see what we get. Let's go back to the view. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I haven't even applied it yet. Sorry, I wanted to go through the platforms on the left. I don't know. Mm. It's not very exciting. Let's we'll use uh Maybe I'm going to change the canvas to three hundred. Oy. Decisions, decisions. I really need to have a look at some others. It's okay. It's not bad. All right. So let's apply this template to the platform. Again, we just update. And we go to the view. We may need to tweak this. Yeah, we need to tweak it for sure. Okay. Spacing's off. It looks very cramped. So let's edit the view. Click on the wheel, scroll down through the properties. We want to change the overall size of all wheel items. So let's make it 13. Let's do one more. Let's make it 14, makes it smaller. Let's get in there. Uh, let's change the item spacing of the non-selected items. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to say we have nine visible. So it's seven plus 
one on either side that's not loaded. All right, now what I want to do is increase the size of the selected item. And we might be able to get away with maybe 140%. Again, double click on the gamepad, scroll through the, uh, no, definitely not. So we want to do, let's try 135. That's within the frame. Yeah, that's within, that's barely. So I think, I think the max that we can go to is maybe 130%. Again, I'm just going to keep going through. Actually, I'm not too happy about how big these are. I think I still need to create much smaller entries and increase the spacing. Yeah. So let me go ahead and just do that and see what we end up with here. Yeah. And now I have to go back and increase the selected item percentage. And then repeat what I just did by going through the list, Dreamcast, Game Gear, Genesis, Model 3, Sinclair Spectrum, PlayStation, PS2. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. All right. So that's the wheel item for platforms. And I guess if we want to do the same trick as we did here and apply this color for non selected, but only when it is selected, it's in the middle. Um, and we want it to be in color. This is where it gets a little tricky. But that's what we're here for. All right, so I'm going to copy this, paste, so we want device and clear logo. All right, so what we need to do here, these are set to full screen, that's fine. I'm gonna introduce a canvas, make that full screen. I'm gonna move the clear logo into the canvas, move the device into the canvas, but below the clear logo, same as before. And I want to show this when it's selected, so it's in full color. And I think I've added monochrome to this, so let me just switch off monochrome a second. I want it in full color. But if it's not selected, I want all of this to be in that yellowy color. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm gonna add an image.
centered, centered. Actually, I'm not going to make it centered. Um, uniform. And what I want to do here on the image, I want to capture. And what do I want to capture? I want to capture the um, canvas. Okay. And you haven't seen any change. That's because I've got two images identical, one sitting on top of the other one. And that's fine. So now what I want to do is change the monochrome of the clone. Let's see if I still have this value. I do. There you go. Perfect. And again, we can... Um, there's, there's different ways that we can do this. I mean, we can just simply say you know, hide this one or just place it on top depending on the, the selection criteria. So we'll just go ahead and do that. The less logic, the better, faster to render. So I'm just going to simply say, make it visible when the wheel item selected value is no. So if it's selected, it's in color. And if it's not selected, it's in that color. And like I said, all it's doing is just displaying both images, but the monochrome version is sitting right on top. Okay. And again, this isn't in use by any view. I right click, I update the wheel, right click again, go to view. And there you go. And I think the only thing that I would want to do on this view here is just to increase the spacing here. Just, just a tad. So I'm going to make that 1.1. Just to push it away from the center a little bit. And I think that's fine. I'll hit save. And then that's it. So. There you go. A very cheap. But effective trick. So that is uh, wheel item templates. Um, obviously, there's far more that you can do with wheel item templates. Um, with version 3.2, you can add videos uh, into the selected, well, in, into the wheel item itself. Um, you can add more complex uh, conditioning, colors or visibility, for example. And... Um, obviously apply your own uh, makeup of graphics. I just wanted to do something that was relatively simple and on hand, but um, you get the gist. I mean, it's pretty powerful uh, to create your own wheel item templates and some of the effects that you can add to it. In this case, when it's selected versus when it's not selected. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, cover uh, what I would consider the, the last uh, piece of building a theme and kind of bringing it all together. Um, I, hope, uh, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you've enjoyed um, watching these how-to videos and, uh, you know, if you're new to theming, new to Big Box, new to the community theme creator, um, hopefully by watching these you'll be able to piece together um, your own your own theme and I will be putting this out um, on the patreon site just so that you can download and it'll be available to to uh, free members as well all right so enjoy <laughs>